Hello, and welcome to the first annual Zalis Awards, where we honor the often overlooked, obscure accomplishments of our peers here in the UNLV MFA program. Now you might ask, Zalis, what qualifies you to judge who is worthy of these highly prestigious awards? To which we have one thing to say. Nothing. <laughs> Unfortunately, many of our nominees couldn't be here tonight because they had better things to do, like sitting in traffic or going to the dentist. But the show must go on. Our first award of the night goes out for best name that sounds somewhat similar to 90s nostalgia items. While this may seem like a niche category, don't let that fool you. The voting was some of the closest we've ever seen in the one year history of the Zalas Awards. <laughs> The winner of this award will receive a takeout menu courtesy of JC Cuisine. That's JC Cuisine for all your fast food sushi needs. And the nominees are Drag Performa, Performer, <laughs> Lisa Stank, who reminds us of our favorite notebooks, stickers, and folders crafted by the timeless style icon, Lisa Frank. Best National Anthem Vocalist of All Time, Fergie, for reminding us of Furbies and how terrifying they were, and oh God, I think I need to go back to therapy now. Sam Gilpin, for having a cool name that, sort, that sounds sort of like gel pen, our own favorite method of writing in elementary school, instead of paying attention during math, which is maybe why we're all getting creative writing degrees. Please welcome to the stage our first winner tonight, first year PhD poet, Sam Gilpin. Thank you all. I'm so delighted to have this. <laughs> I was not expecting this. Um, I, I kind of just want to read from this and make that my reading. Um, OK, so I just have a few poems. Um, they're about love. And uh, so we'll see how that one goes. So the first one's Yellow Days. I don't, I, I don't, I don't actually know if they're about love, but We'll see. Uh, yellow days. We were carrying bags of groceries along the gravel path, a slack rain removed to all appearances, it seemed. A wet sycamore leaf stuck against the gold lacquered pot, smell of, precip smell of precipitation fading and remembered. Only the morning... Only the Mormon chill, only the morning chill deepening and gnawing, smooth black stones covered by wet black pop poplar leaves, morals cluttering the matted, matted soil, becoming something darker to our eyes, black hills, bare pines, the creek forever onward. This is, the price, this is the price of admission. How could it be otherwise? No wind or protean course adrift and drifting, constantly orbiting. How can we know anything different without witness, without any assured contact? This southwestern landscape threading into granite, into feldspar, tactile sense of rock, vireo, and scrub oak. This like an endless beginning, and then somehow that same still, trivial August night. What is it to remain or to trust this small circle spi spiraling endlessly, the bondage or some desperate need in the repetition of each day? I pour the water down the drain. I shut the computer. You slip out of black nightshirt, noticing an eardrum and retina that outside regular traffic forever's, on, forever's onward. There is no place to go. No, only the response that tomorrow always begs. Again, the air will beat into the land. The blade will carve because it must. The rose bush by the gate will lead into the path. I recall your eyes that night, looking at the bark slowly blackening in fire, the smell of sandalwood incense indelible, even though nothing was left. It is no longer possible. How could it be? Light brief through clear pine, forever recovering hue, the will, the lucid slicing of thought. I notice the oil of your skin, your black hair down to your waist, a single rain at dusk, curtains the outline of leaves weighted by fading sunlight. This, another admission embedded in the vast arrangement of order. Small remains of sky, visible through subdued air, beginning to fall, wind beating forever over black desert. We know so little in this only waiting to come. Who can say anything? The rain heavy against the rough tin roof. We wake up in the dark. And this one's a little, uh, a little something. 
I guess, about, also about love. Uh, it's called Beyond the Casual Solitudes. One, it's in three parts. One, noise and weather. Boiled eggs in bowl, polka dot dress, your legs of asymmetry through cover of dusk, clustered instincts of a body in motion, in drawn light, born of an emptying out. Vista, fleeing through retina, skyline, neon tones layered over gray, burnt into edges like scrapings of rust, bronzed like a cast bell, cast into image. Two, fault line. About sound, about symmetry, about our increasing powerlessness we've read in the negative spaces between the verbed branches. It's all just a quiver of nouns, an indifferent win winter shivering across your pores. Through pupil, the viscous combinations of cumulus and nimbus thick with mania and distraction. This determining to make sense with what has been washed out in paler shades of blue. Three, air against limbs. There's no metaphor for the stall of speechlessness sewn and re-sewn through your lips. And then the last one uh, is called suspension of refusal. I awake in the night, make the bed. The novel's been finished, the phone having already rung. What is the beginning of arrangement in this world? Is it the hard blood beneath skin, simply made by virtue of speech, or the black-white silence of old photos, rumpled dreams angled in past? Your eyes look out at me, wishing in this ordering, once the color has drained, nodding into mirror without apparent links, like catching the light fading between two sheets of glass in an expectation of color. These evenings, the light grows dense with nothing more to see, only the giving in to a night without edge, the mere repetition, the silence absolute, your dark pubic hair, the taste of beer on your tongue, the unbearable glare of open sky before sight, inarticulate like a dark wood. I fill the glass with water from the tap. I do not eat. I swallow and for a moment don't budge. Your smell, your taste has collapsed like scaffolding. In morning sun, the bench is still wet. Thank you guys. Woo!